guys. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how you can make a nice snow effect. Last time we made a rain effect, and you should think it's around the same, but it's not. Well, part partly the same. All right. So first of all, we want the sky to look much more gray because this really doesn't look like it's snowing. Then you go to do that. We're gonna select it first. Go to select, hit color range. Then holding click at the blue and hold down shift while you drag around and as you can see over here at the pre preview the white up here is selected now so if we hit OK it should select all the blue up here but it didn't it selected a lot more down here and to remove that we're gonna get our rectangular marquee tool holding down alt and get these things into some boxes to make them disappear. Alright, like that. Then we're gonna go to gonna add in adjustment layer. Do that by clicking here. And then we're gonna add a hue and saturation layer. On that hue and saturation you're gonna drag the saturation all over here and the lightness all over here. Now, as you can see, because the selection is very rough or raw, the tree got gray too. But if you want a perfect look for yours, do it with the either the polygonal lasso tool or the pen tool. It works the best. All right, with that one, we're gonna add a new layer. Make sure your foreground color is black, and then hit Shift F5 click OK. Now your layer should be all black. Now we want to go to filter, noise, add noise. Choose around 100%. Make sure Gaussian and monochromatic is checked. Okay. Then go to filter, blur, blur more. To go to image, adjustments, levels. Now we want all this white to go away, well most of it. Let's do that, make sure your white marker here is around the start of this mountain looking thing. Right that. Okay. Then we're gonna go to blending modes and choose screen. Now this really doesn't look like snow yet. So I'm gonna go to blur, blur motion blur to make it look like it actually falling and for those of you who, or who saw the other tutorial of mine you're probably thinking that this looks exactly like this like it did the last time right. press ctrl T to bring up the free transform panel so we can get rid of these little edges here does look very nice take your layer 2 or whatever layer you made it on and drag it to the create new layer button this will duplicate it now go to edit, transform, rotate 180 degrees. What we're doing now is we want the some of the snow to look like it's closer to us than the other snow. Alright, now hold con hold on control and press T again to get the free transform. Make sure the little maintain aspect ratio button here is checked and change the width to 200%. Now as you can see, some of it already looks bigger than the other one. So, we still want it to look like it's, what do you call it, snowflakes. To do that, we're going to go to pixelate, crystallize. Um, and that's okay. And um, now you, you can really see the big flakes here, we don't want that. So to change that, we're gonna go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, like that. Right, so now we have a nice looking snowy effect. Unfortunately, this picture is not very easy to do it on because of the blue here and here, checking out between all the all the trees. It's very hard to. Uh, mark up. 
Alright, that is it for this time. I hope to see you again. And if you want more Photoshop or Visual Studio tutorials, don't forget to hit the subscribe button above this video. Thanks for this time. Bye.